How's it going guys? Past level question, genetics step one, six-year-old boy with cystic fibrosis. So recurrent respiratory infections since a young age, failure to thrive due to pancreatic exocrine insufficiency with fat-soluble vitamin malabsorption. So let's just hop through the answer choices off. One of the trips and efficiency, wrong fucking answer, co-dominant inheritance. You have somebody who wants you to know that double Z allele is the most adverse for development of disease. It's going to be patients who develop panacinar emphysema and cirrhosis. Alpha-1 antitrypsin is an antiprotease produced by the liver normally. It goes to the lungs and it breaks down elastase. So if you have deficiency of that antiprotease, alpha-1 antitrypsin, you're going to have increased elastase activity in the lungs causing the emphysema in addition to at the liver the cirrhosis, as I just said. Choice A, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, G6P deficiency, wrong fucking answer, except length recessive. It'd be a boy who is oxidative damage to RBC membranes, will have hemolysis with unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia, generally scleral icterus, due to viral infection or a drug such as dapsone or primaquin. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, and I'll just mention real quick, because we could do a 40 minute dissection of all these conditions. Bite cells and Heinz bodies, very easy, very buzzy for G6P deficiency. As I already said, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, hemochromatosis, correct answer. So autosomal recessive and cystic fibrosis, autosomal recessive. Now, some of you are going to get emotional right now. You say, really? Like, do we need to know this very nitpicky point that hemochromatosis is AR? Like, are they really going to ask me that on the step one? That actually is probably pretty low yield. It would be unlikely, truthfully, that they'll give you a vignette of hemochromatosis, bronze diabetes, okay, Hi uh, hyperpigmentation, you get increased glucose levels due to iron deposition to tail of the pancreas, you get infertility, you can get pseudogout, okay, arthritis, so ferritin over 300. So hemochromatosis, this, is, this question is about eliminating to get there because the other conditions listed here are ultra high yield for genetics. So if you know your inheritance patterns the way you're supposed to, even if you didn't know hemochromatosis, we can eliminate to get there. Okay, so the heavy metals like uh, hemochromatosis for iron overload, uh, they want you to know it's increased intestinal absorption of iron. That's the mechanism. Okay, so AR, chromosome 6, HFE gene, and it's an inability of the duodenum to shut off uh, absorption of iron. The heavy metals like hemochromatosis, iron, and Wilson disease, copper, are autosomal recessive. Let's just hop to the others. Hemophilia A, wrong fucking answer. So clearly this is going to be excellent recessive. It's going to be a school-aged boy who has hemarthrosis bleeding into a knee. can also occasionally be uh, neonates who have excessive bleeding with circumcision. They might tell you that maternal uncle died from mild head trauma. You're going to have an isolated increase in PTT, where your bleeding time PT are normal. They can tell you that patients been treated with factor eight alicotes over time, develops resistance to it where the PTT doesn't go down. And then they want you to know that you can develop antibodies against factor eight. It's called factor eight inhibitor. So you would be, the answer would be check for inhibitor of factor eight. Wrong fucking answer. Choice E and elephant in the room, obvious stuff, but hemophilia B would be deficiency of factor nine, also exodrecessive. Choice E, Von Epelin, I don't fucking answer. One of the phacomatoses, fancy word that means neurocutaneous disorders, Von Epelin, Lindau, Tuber sclerosis, NF1, NF2, Sturge Weber, spelled Sturge Weber. So Sturge Weber is uh, somatic mosaic, but the others, NF1, NF2, Tuber sclerosis, VHL. You need to know those four autosomal dominant, exceedingly high yield. You need to know how those present. You need to know everything about those conditions for your assembly, steps one and two. Okay, but VHL is going to be renal cell carcinoma. It need not be bilateral. Okay, and you can get cerebellar, retinal, hemangioblastomas. You can get pancreatic cysts. Wrong fucking answer. Choice up. Lung wall brain disease, wrong fucking answer. Autosomal dominant. Okay, so condition's going to be usually a girl. It can be a boy, but I'm just saying it, it, they like to give you a girl because for 
hematology questions, they reward you for knowing your inheritance patterns. So if they give you a 17 year old girl, you can eliminate hemophilia A as an example, because that's X-linked recessive. So they might give you, give you a 17 year old girl, she's gonna have one platelet problem and one clotting factor problem, nine out of 10 times. So platelet problem, mild cutaneous findings, petechia, easy bruising, epistaxis, nose bleeding, clotting factor problems such as excessive bleeding with previous tooth extraction, heavy menses, and you're gonna have an increased bleeding time normal PT. PTT is only increased in half of questions, but blood well factor normally bridges glycoprotein 1B on platelets to underlying collagen slash vascular endothelium, so platelet adhesion. Von Willebrand disease? Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal when you make more content than the subscription. Appreciate your time. That's it.